everyone welcome to my channel hope everyone's having a great day I've done a couple of videos already this morning um, this video here um, let me start out with um, reading this um, scripture Luke 21 uh, Luke chapter 21 20 verses 25 through 28 there will be signs in the Sun moon and stars and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplex perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring and that's this is all happening right now uh, I believe we're in the year 5993 uh, some think it is and some have figured it out you know figured out that's where we are some I mean there's all kinds of stuff going you know all kinds of numbers out there but I really believe we're in this uh, last uh coming to that last seven years i kind of myself think we're either we're already in the tribulation or the evil rulers of the world have are trying to rush it you know they're trying to beat god they're trying to rush the tribulation because they think they're going to win at the battle of armageddon and if y'all watch my videos y'all see my hebrew numbers and my gematria hebrew value is equals the golden gate to heaven the um uh, Armageddon catastrophe, you know, that's what I am just like Elijah was he had power of the Rain the sun, you know, he had the, the at his word. That's what Elijah says at my word. It won't rain for three and a half years well uh, At my word it will rain because I'm from the angel sandal fawn, which is One of the words is sandpiper bird, which means bird of the raindrop just like Elijah was and uh and i want to show you something about something i seen last night sign in the sun moon and stars but let me build a little um something here this is my granddaughter's birth chart that is unimaginable i mean it's impossible to to for this the night she was born it's a female woman uh, a female girl and uh this is her birth chart you know and if you go back and watch my videos you can see how the all the information you know that i that i put out on this all right, we're from the sandal farm. There's that train, there's that pyramid right there. That's a sign, signature of, it's a symbol of um, sandal farm, Elijah, uh, John the Baptist, and possibly Enoch, because Enoch, Enoch and Elijah, I believe is the Janus God, the real Janus gods, uh, you know, the the deities. I'm not saying the, the most high God, nobody's the most high, which is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. That's the most high God. And anyway, so, but I just want to show you that because, all right, this, uh, my daughter, my granddaughter here is, uh, this is not she was born. Now, let me show, oh, now get over into the, um, okay. What I sang last night is going to equal up to this right here. Um, okay, right here it is. Total solar eclipses in 2017. August 21st, 2017. That's my granddaughter's birthday. I can tie, this is how I've tied all this together with the Hebrew value. Everything stems off the Hebrew gematria value, really. Um, everything. You can numerology it's a just a it, numerology is a product of the hebrew value system the gematria the mathematical system uh and uh okay in april the 8th 2024 we have another x total solar eclipse which means omens this is what this means it comes right across the very town that i live that i was born in mena arkansas full totality and then also, let's see here. Um, when they switch to that 5G internet, it don't hold up the pages. But this is Arkansas, the, the main Arkansas website. Natural, Arkansas, the natural state. This is, watch the total solar eclipse from these 11 totality towns. All right, Clinton, Herbert Springs, Searcy, Jasper, Yaleville, Flippin. Batesville, Mountain View, Mountain Home, Hardy, Cherokee Village, and then 
you go over here to uh, let me see here about this They've left out two towns on most of these, except for, um, um, let me see here. And one of them's Dee Queen, Arkansas. That's where my, my um, kids were, some of my kids were born in Dee Queen. I was born in Mena. The, this old solar eclipse is coming right through both these towns. They're like 50 miles apart. It's total eclipse on both these towns. And you can find a little information on them, you know, because uh, it's um, going through D. Queen, Arkansas. Sevier County. Now, why did they name that Sevier? D. Queen, which means son of the queen. That's what they named that town after. The next town up is King. The next town up is uh, William the Conqueror. It's named Gillum, which means Gullamane. But anyway, that's where this eclipse is coming. Right down through where they made all these names. Nimrod. It's going through the town Nimrod, too. Full totality. Nimrod, Arkansas. I'm going to get around to the showing the, because uh, I seen this last night. The stars played this out for me last night in the, in the stars. It was a super clear night. And um, I went outside about 10 o'clock, I guess. And as soon as I get out there, I'm looking up in the sky, and these two stars start moving. They, you know, stars can move. They start moving, and they create. They create, they made this exact formation, two stars. Um, but see, it was in reverse. It was in reverse. This one, uh, it was a mere reflection of what how this happened, of the dates. It went in reverse. So uh, here's the whole thing, friends. I, when I was five years old, the first thing I ever seen supernatural was a light in a mirror in the middle of the night. That did not reflect off that mirror. We had no street lights. We had run. We had to draw water from a well. There was one little light in each room. No street lights outside, and it was pitch black in that room. Me and my brother seen it. He he. My brother seen it too. So he's from the light too. See, um, you know, because God always does a confirmation. So anyway, this light didn't reflect. It looked like a portal in this mirror, a big old mirror my granny had, and. Uh, it scared me and scared my brother too. I put up my head on the covers when my brother said, Did you see that? And I said, oh, That's when we started screaming. You know, we're six years old. I was six, I think, right at six. But uh, anyway, the second thing I seen in that same house was one, I, I had, a, there's a big field outside, a big lawn. My papa had a riding mower, but we had beehives way at the other end of this big old yard. I mean, it was huge. And the beehives were way out there at the, by the road and the fence. My papa, I'd always watch him when he was mowing. He would stay about six or eight foot away from that beehive, you know, mowing with the riding mower. And uh, I kept watching him and watching him. I'm thinking, I hope he don't get stung. I hope he don't get stung. Well, after um, I was wanting to get into playing a little baseball. So I, somebody, my granny bought me or my mama bought me a baseball and a bat. And I practiced out there for, you know, a week or so. I'd knock it throw that ball up and hit it and then I'd have to go get it and I'd hit it and I had to go get it you know I was getting practice at hitting the ball and one day I hit that one day I hit the ball and there's no way I could reach that beehive and that ball rolled within two feet of that beehive it just kept rolling and rolling and rolling I thought oh my gosh I can't get my ball now I'll get stung you know <laughs> and uh, man I walked out there a week of maybe two weeks it was a long time you know three or four weeks for you know, I'd pray, God, I want my ball back so I can play. You know, we're poor. We was dirt poor. We drawed water from a well, you know, so I couldn't just go buy a new baseball. Or my granny and them, or my mama and them couldn't at the time. So one day, I just kept praying, God, I want to go get my ball. And uh, so after a week, week and a half or so, I finally had faith enough to go out there because it's like within two foot of that be beehive. I, I walked out there, and I bent down, and I got my ball. I was within two feet. No, the bees didn't even come to me or sting me, you know. And uh, so anyway, I ain't going to, 
I know that was a sign from God that the whole thing, the whole scenario. But what I'm saying is that I've seen these signs all my life. Sometimes I didn't understand them. Well, I still don't understand a lot of them, you know, but, but they come to me after a while. I finally get the meanings of them. God finally answers me on most every sign. But my granddaughter was born there. In April 8th, my birthday is September the 8th. This is how God works in reflection and mirrors and numbers. September the 8th, if you folded a calendar in half, it's the reflection of April 8th, my birthday, September the 8th. The queen died on September the 8th of all days, telling the world who the real king is of this earth. And, uh, which is, anyway, uh, and, well, I had a daughter born on April 18th, but I never could put the April 8th, you know, in, into the equation here. There's something about April 8th I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing. Well, uh, and I finally figured it out. It was a a uh, a backwards reflection. April, just say the April 8th, if you reflect it backwards, it's four, two, four, eight, you know, like that. Reflection backwards. So that's how God, he works in these mysterious ways. Hopefully y'all are understanding what I'm saying. I could not put that eight together that April 8th date until maybe eight months ago, something like that maybe, that I could not put that April 8th to, together. But I, when I figured it out, and how I figured it out was I had a plane ticket that well, I went to Israel. My first ticket was 1-1. One, one. My second ticket was number 2-2. Two, two. My third ticket was named 26, which is YHVH. Well, I missed that flight and got, because uh, I didn't have time to get on the uh, make it through London Airport to get to my next flight. So my next, when they my replacement ticket was thirty three. So I had one one two two, and it's double. See, it's one one two two three three. I mean not three three one one two two, and then you double one two is double of one four is a double of um, two, and then eight is the double of four. If you run that backwards, you have a backwards reflection. Hopefully, I I can make that clear. Hopefully, that I made that clear enough that you can understand that that God works in mysterious ways. He goes sometimes it's a it's a reflection that don't reflect, but it's back, a reverse reflection. I guess maybe you would call it because that's what happened in that mirror that night. It did not reflect off that. It was like a reverse type of reflection, like it reflected back into the mirror and stood out into the room. Okay, and uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go on with this right here because. Last night, when I went out there, I seen these stars. They were sitting up here about, I got my cursor pointed there, if y'all can see it, my cursor pointed right there. There were two stars. They were stationary when I looked at them. All of a sudden, they just, one starts moving, starts coming this way, and then the other one, I looked and I thought, there's another star that uh, that's moving to this, and it made the X, and this is about right. If I looked up in the sky, that was the same direction that this the stars was X'd. Because I'm right here. And if you, I was looking up in that direction to see this happen. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's a, that's that, uh, that's the reflection, or that's the, uh, that's showing me that uh, sign that's coming April 8th. So um, I sat there, I was kind of, I was really in amazement at how, how it happened. I mean, it was just like, I mean, that's exactly what it was. So anyway, I turned around a little bit to the, right and i seen this huge these stars making this huge y like y h v y y h v h but there was just a huge y the stars were brighter than any other stars in the sky well the two top stars there's two top stars and then one that made the the like the v made that star then it went down and made a leg with two other stars i mean it was just sticking out like a sore thumb to me you know what i mean and all of a sudden that that the top two stars, and then the one that makes the V at the bottom, you know, the, the middle part of the Y, that thing just starts, I mean, it just gets real bright, and it just starts coming towards me, and it goes out, completely out. It just goes out, and I've never seen it again. It was like, you know, i done a video yesterday that I'm going to sail away soon. Uh, it was just like, you're fixing to sail away from this place, you know, like Elijah and Enoch did, because I'm ready to go. But, uh, 
anyway, that's what I seen in the heavens last night. And it was very, I mean, it was just amazing to me. And, you know, you probably would have had just to, had to been there and seen it yourself to really grasp the, the magna, the, no, it was, but anyway, that's what I was going to get to. But uh, this eclipse is coming right over Mena, Arkansas, where I was born. Total eclipse. Here it is. It's going to, Mena, Arkansas, see it's, let me, this is the simulation of it. See, it makes a total solar eclipse in Mena, Arkansas, 2024, at the very spot I was born. Then it goes over to Queen, Arkansas, where my kids were born. You know, one of my kids were born there. One of them was born in Fort Smith. And um, any, so Arkansas is very significant. It's got towns in it named Nimrod. Uh, you know, it's a ritual. Then the Ipet Goat people, the people who made the Ipet Goat, has a river between Mena and Waldron named Force Lafayette. That's the people who has the Mona Lisa painting. That Mona Lisa is, what well, last name was Gerald, Geraldini, or Geraldini, however you pronounce it, which is my last name too. You know, they've changed the names over the years. When I trace my out my genealogy, well, that Mona Lisa is a, the most famous painting in the whole wide world. Well, that's my family. You know, that's my ancestors. Their, their, their memory and DNA is in my Mine and my kids and a lot of people around here. There's a lot of people around here don't know who you are. They've hid your identity from you. So anyway, I got to thinking about that mirror. So I thought, what does a magic mirror mean? The mirror claims it only ever speaks the truth. And so far, this has been proved correct. A person can also encase their spirit inside the mirror and thus become part of it. See, that was light in that mirror. I've showed you all the videos of the street lights. I can make the street lights go out. I can make the I can make the stars go out. You know, uh, it's not every night, but I can be driving down the road with street lights. If I just glance up at one of them, it'll go out. You know, and and um, it's because when I look, Donald Trump done a mockery video of me with two laser beams shooting out his eyes and a Superman on his chest, a Superman symbol, and he was mocking me. That's what he was doing, mocking me, because they know I can put the street lights out. I can put the stars out. And it all goes back to Joseph. Whenever Joseph had the dream, the sun and moon and stars will bow down to me. And uh, it all goes back to that dream because Joseph's DNA is in my blood, in my system. It's in my family system. They hid me. Uh, well, God hid me. He, I was conceived on a full moon, born on a new moon it, when I was born. And... Uh, Anyway, I've done a video on that here lately about that. But, you know, I'm just saying, folks, we're getting close to the end of time. Uh, I'm just, I'm your best friend. I'm the best friend of everybody in this world. I'm telling you that Jesus Christ is, here's, this here, here was another sign. I've done videos on this. The September 23, that the actual, it was an ongoing sign. The child was born on September the 8th. Once in 7,000 years, that number is uh, seven. That's God's. Whereas he created the earth in seven days. You know, that number is very significant in in uh, in God's, you know, in God's system. But that's what happened in the sun, moon, and stars. The, the woman got clothed, that's Virgo, clothed with the sun, and the moon was under her feet, and the three stars lined up to make a total of 12 stars from the constellation Leo, the line of the tribe of Judah. If you know anything about the Bible, you know who the line is. Who that is, that's Yeshua, Jesus Christ. He is the Son of the Most High. Which, you can't hardly, listen folks, people get up, they get all, you know, all mad about the Trinity. Some of them is Jesus only, the Trinity. Um, the Bible says God has seven, consists of seven spirits. So how, how do you, uh, you know, us in our human thinking, human form, we cannot really understand the spirit. You know, it's wind. It's uh, it's the environment around us that we can't see. Um, so it's light that we don't can't really understand until we get back there. We're not going to understand it in our human existence here. We can't really understand it. I think we'll get pretty good concepts of it because I can see clear, clearly how they can be God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And uh, there's been a lot of lies hid to us about the feminine parts of all this because we are a reflection of what's happening in the heavens. And I'm going to say it again. There is a feminine aspect to God, to 
El Elyon the Most High somehow through that spirit. It's it's not like we think it is. You know, we we make it like female, male, and female, which it it kind of is in a in a way. So, because uh, we can't be born without a, you know, without a feminine. If you put it in that category, ma masculine and feminine, feminine, and then uh, they have a child, because two two men can't have a child. You know, so you got to think of you, you have to think. You have to use common sense a little bit to kind of under, try to understand that we can't exist without the feminine part. Now, I think God hid that feminine part to, for protection because that's what kings do. They protect their queens. You know, they protect their feminine parts. And uh, But anyway, you know, uh, and boy, a lot of people, they've had comments, oh, God was just father only. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he is the father. But there's something else going on there, too, because the Holy Spirit used to be lit, uh, labeled as feminine. Now they changed 900 years ago. They changed it to um, masculine. Somebody changed it, probably the Vatican, you know. So uh, what I'm saying is that there's a lot of things being hid from us. We have to go back and find, try to get the original documents that were wrote to understand what really happened, because... Jesus, God said there's going to be a great deception at the end of time, that even the very elect will be deceived if it were possible. And uh, I tell you what, I see a lot of people that I would think would be in that elect that are deceived. You know, I really do. Man, they, they bought Donald Trump's lines, hook, line, and sinker. Now Israel's got their, their yarmulke. They call him the Messiah. He can memor he's memorized. He knows the Torah and the Talmud and... and um, all this, he supposedly done some miracles and stuff, you know, and they say they've been, they found their Messiah, you know, and because the, they always rejected Jesus Christ. And Jesus, God put blinders in them so they can't even, you know, because of what they done. You know, God put blinders in them and they will bow down to Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Someday they will bow down to him. All those scribes and Pharisees, I call them the rabbis. A rabbi is a male chauvinist. Most of them are male chauvinist people. You know, they really are. They they, they think it's, and some of them believe in uh, that Mother Mary is the the one you pray to. Jesus said, "I'm the only way, the door, the truth, the way, the life, the truth." So I'm promoting Jesus Christ to the day I die. You know, that's that's uh, it, it was ingrained in me. I believe God was more powerful enough to put me in a position to learn the truth. Because I always wondered, I always wondered, and I questioned God every day. I'd go outside and I'd say, what am I doing here? Who am I? What am I doing here? You know, as a kid growing up, and I'm thinking, man, I just don't really fit in. I'm just, uh, you know, what am I doing here? I don't understand why I'm, what I'm really doing here. Because my human mind at that time could not, you know, uh, I'm learning more and more each day what I'm doing here now. You know, it's coming to me. God's opening up my memory cells from all my ancestors. Let me see it with my own eyes. And how I know that my memory's in the, I've got memory cells from Adam is because God told Adam, since you hearkened to the woman, I, it caused to him to curse the ground that Adam walked on. He couldn't curse Adam. I mean, he really couldn't curse Adam because Jesus had to come through that seed line of the, man, of, of someone. So, but, one day, me and my wife was went to pick up some rocks, and I've told you all this story before about the scorpions just started boiling out of the ground. When I turn over a rock, scorpions just start boiling out of the ground. That showed me right there, that's that curse that was on the ground because scorpions stand for curse, really. So anyway, and then uh, we went down on this, uh, we was on vacation one year, and uh, we got on this boat going to this St. Augustine Island, I think was the name of it, called Shell Island. And, uh, and, uh, we got on this big old boat like a ship, and before we got out in the main part of the ocean, this huge storm came up, and the, that boat would go down so low, those waves were so high, I would think it looked like the waves were just going to come into that boat. This was huge. So that reminded me now of Noah, that, you know, that's the, God was showing me through my memory cells that all these signs that, that uh, come through me, you know, I mean, it's coming through me. It's like the rain that's happened so long. I mean, I woke, I'd wake up in the middle of the night, and uh, it'd be raining, raining, raining. And uh, this, you know, and people, 
now they're grappling about the rain, you know, been too much rain. Well, y'all brought it upon yourselves, you know. You evil rulers brought are bringing this on yourselves. Like Ahab, when Elijah went to meet with Ahab, Ahab told King Ahab and Jezebel, King Ahab called Elijah a troubler. Elijah said, I'm not the troubler. You're, you're, you're the troubler. Your evil ways are what brought this on yourself. You reap what you sow. I don't care what you've done. Uh, if you had, if it wasn't fixed right, there's a right way to fix it and stop, you know, stop that type of harvest if it's bad or good. God says, if my people, which are called by my name, will repent, repent and turn from the wicked ways, that he will heal their land, you know, that he would heal their harvest. So there's a right way to do it, you know, I mean, if because uh, God done something to me that I wouldn't have never thought that he would have that I would something happened to me that I never thought would have happened in all my life because I had I had a I ain't even gonna say it don't talk about it on here because it's kind of personal but anyway uh I'm just saying God if 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 uh if I'm just gonna say this if you have something against somebody in your heart God will make God will make sure he gets that out of your heart if you're a true individual to God and you want the truth and everything, God will make sure you that gets out of your heart. And so it ain't fun. I'm telling you that. You know, it's not fun sometimes. But I got a video I'm going to do a lady done on uh, God separating. God is separating his uh, people, some of his people, for the end war, which we're in right now. Uh, Donald Trump, Benjamin Netanyahu, Vladimir Lezinski, Zelensky, Prince Charles, the Klaus Schwab, or whatever his name is, over at the World Economic Forum, all those guys, they're, they're, uh, it's a stage show. They're all actors, and they now you're starting to hear them. Well, these actors, you know, on the news, well, these Democrat actors, you know, I mean, they're starting to say things like that because the apocalypse is here. It's now the revealing. Apocalypse means revealing. And the, the evil of this world is being revealed. And I just say that Jesus Christ is our only hope. He really is. He's been with me every day of my life. You know, his spirit's been with me every day. I can look back and see every step of my life, even when I was doing wrong, the things wrong, you know, as a teenager and stuff like that. Uh, Jesus was still there. He says, I'll never leave you or forsake you. And I heard that when I was a little kid, so I knew he was always there. I just didn't see how, you know, at this now at this time I see how how he really was there. I mean, I look back a lot of things now, and I was blinded to a lot of stuff. And God kept me hid like that for a reason, you know, to for this end time war that for me to come up and tell I'm I'm like John the Baptist that Jesus Christ is our only hope for this whole world. You know, if you want to if you want to to live in a thousand year millennium without people evil on this earth. The only way you're going to get that is through Jesus Christ, you know, because he's going to be the ruler of the whole earth. I, I'm i going to be a prince under him somehow. I don't know the exact, you know, I don't know the exact terms of all this that's coming, but I'm just saying I'm going to be the prince of this earth and uh, I'm going to do what God tells me to do. And I will make mistakes because I'm still got a human element to me, you know, uh, just like Elijah did. He, he got a little bit spooked about Jezebel and run hid in a cave for a while. And God comes to him and says, what are you doing here, Elijah? Just like he told Moses. Moses was, you know, getting scared and worried about the, they were trapped at the Red Sea. And God says to Moses, what are you worried about, Moses? Just part the sea, you know, because Moses was his signet. Just like Elijah. What are you scared of? Uh, what are you doing here, Elijah? You know, what are you doing in this cave all hid up now? And just... Uh, you know, all you got to do is say the word. So Elijah goes back and tells Jezebel she's going to be eaten by the dogs and Ahab's going to be eaten by the dogs. And and that's exactly what happened. You know, uh, it came to pass that that uh, Jezebel fell off down from her tower up there, fell off down to the ground. And uh, nobody would help. Nobody picked her up, buried her, nothing. The wild dogs ate her. Ate her, just like Elijah said he would. So anyway, 
I'm going to end this video. I probably made it too long. Uh, I'm going to ask you to like my videos and share them. We're at the end of time. The end of this age. I said not, we're not really at the end of time. We're at the end of this age. Uh, kind of like a dispensation age. You know, 6,000 years. Uh, Noah. Well, let's see. Jesus came at 4,000 years. And um, God said he's going to cut the time short. So I think he cut it in short about, you know, nearly half to 2,000 years after Jesus uh, resurrected and that time is now I believe because I've seen the signs and uh, um, you know I want to take everybody with me if, if I can't you know I, but it ain't up to me it's up to each individual you know their own way of salvation and some people their way of salvation is not the right way it's only through that shed blood that, that we are redeemed it's the purchase price it's just uh when you go into the Jewish system, customs, you will see that, that what Jesus done was an exact, uh, was exactly matches the Jewish marriage, you know, the redemption price. You know, there was a price that, that, they, that a guy had to pay for his wife, a redemption price, and that was their custom. That's what Jesus did. Because he, he, he's, he's the bridegroom and we're the bride. See, we kind of have a feminine aspect. We're labeled with a feminine aspect. The church of Jesus Christ is labeled the bride of Christ. See, so there's signs that tell you that there's something else besides just a, just a more than just a masculine male chauvinist pig. That's why I'm going to put it because there's something more to it, folks. You know, I'm labeled the bride of Christ down here on this earth. The bride of the feminine of Christ. I'm labeled that. And so are you if you really are in the church, the real church, not the ones that, not the churches that have all these, you know, all these churches around us, they're, most of them are deceived. Well, thank you for coming to my channel. I hope everyone has a great day.